Avoid the lottery of FIFA points. Head over to u7bike.com. Use the code TVM at checkout for a 5% off. What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome back to another video, today it's the turn of the Bundesliga, FIFA 20 Bundesliga starter team, I've tried to pick out as many players as I can who I think are either already established but should be relatively cheap at the start of the game, or players who have made moves recently and who should go from, I would say, reasonably uh, sort of moderate rated cards, you know, the 74 rated silvers, the lower rated golds, up into the sort of 78, 80 rated uh, gold cards. Now, first player it was a bit difficult when it comes to keepers. I've just gone with Pavlenka. I've got absolutely no idea whether he'll be upgraded or not. Uh, judging by stats and such, I wouldn't have thought so. Um, if anything, he might even get like an 81. But uh, I've gone with Pavlenka. I don't think it really matters in the early stages when it comes to goalkeepers. I think you can just you get what you can afford, and then you sort of you build on that after you sort the rest of the team out because goalkeepers are just problematic anyway. Hakimi at right back. This is an interesting one because he might not actually be a right back. He has come on as a left back, as a right back, and as a right wing, and I think he's even been brought on in a slightly different sort of more attacking role as well, that I don't think they know how to use Hakimi right now. So I don't really know what EA are going to do position-wise. It kind of brings me around to the point that they should have more than one position per player. But um, Hakimi would be the right back. He shouldn't be more than 80 rated, uh, nor should Pavard. Uh, he's made his move, of course, to Bayern Munich from uh, Stuttgart, I think it was. But he hasn't done enough for me to warrant a big upgrade, if at all. So I've given him an 80 rated card. Reasonable pace, decent defensive stats, good passing and dribbling because he used to be a fullback. And I think that, that this could be one of those cards that, like the uh, Dortmund centre-backs this year, you know, they're very overpowered and they're not that expensive. So I think Pavard could be somewhere along those lines, much like uh, our next defender here, Stark. Now, Stark is always a card in FIFA that you can rely on. Very cheap and cheerful, reasonably good pace. Some decent defensive stats. Not too bad on the old physicals either. I like him. I think he's decent. And of course in real life as well, he's he's not too bad. So I, I definitely think you could get um, you could get him really cheap at the beginning. There are plenty of other defenders to go for. You know, those uh, Dortmund centre-backs that I just mentioned. You could very well go pick one of them up. But um, I think the popularity of those will probably rise the price. Raise the price, rather, this year. Uh, speaking of raising the price, Schultz is the highest rated card in this team and he could very well be too expensive to pick up i really don't know how much an 82 dortmund schultz would cost uh, right at the beginning of the game i've put him in there on the off chance that he is around sort of five or six thousand coins but i wouldn't be too surprised to see him upwards of say 10 15 000. so if that is the case then you'll have to find yourself another player maybe the halstenberg or something could be a reasonable option for you uh moving into the midfield aaron geese uh, this is just in there purely because he's extremely well-rounded. You can't really go wrong with this. Very good passing, um, reasonably good defensive stats, shooting stats, physical stats, dribbling, as well as a reasonable pace as well. He's just one of those box-to-box, -box, all-round players that you can uh, you can just slot in there. And he'll do best of both worlds for you, really, because you're not going to have a lot of money in the early stages. You know, this is probably a team for, for a, a good couple of weeks, and you'll sort of upgrade it moderately. Harrit is a position change this year. I think he was a right wing in FIFA 19 or a left wing one or the other. Now he'll be a central attacking midfield player. He may even be a centre forward. Not that it really matters because you can get away with either but um, he has now changed for Schalke. I've got him actually on Football Index. If you don't know what that is then feel free to research it. Use the code in the description but um, uh, yeah, I've got him on the index, and uh, I like him in real life. I've done my research, and I really like him. So it's one of the reasons why I've put him in here. In fact, I've done that for quite a few of these players, because up next, we have another player that I own on the index, Unkunku. Made his move from... Oh, he played for PSG last year. Now he plays for, um, for Leipzig. Again, a reasonably well-rounded player. I'm not quite sure what they'll do with his overall this season. I do have a few alternatives in the sort of... At, well, after we after I show you the squad, I'll, I'll show you some alternatives. But Nkunku, for me, will be one of those overpowered, underrated, cheap, cheap players that not many people are going to 
pay that much attention to in the early stages. Helps you link with other leagues as well because he's got a very good nation there. But uh, look out for that card. Next is Luca Bacchio. I think he was a... Uh, I think he was a silver in, in FIFA 19. But uh, he's done so well. Uh, for Dusseldorf. I, I say I think he was a silver. I'm talking at my backside. I've got absolutely no idea whether he was a silver or not. But I've gone with Luca Bacchio nonetheless. I think it would be a position change as well from the right side to the left side. A reasonably good pace and dribbling. Just a decent card. Um, some with hidden stats as well, I would imagine. Skov on the right-hand side, of course. He's made his move into the Bundesliga now with Hoffenheim. He gets one in form and he is going to be incredible. Uh, you've got some reasonably good pace and then just unbelievably well-rounded stats for a right mid or right wing. Uh, he's got strength in abundance. I don't think he's got the skills, has he? That's one of the problems. But if you can't chain skills together, then it, chances are you're not going to need them as much as you used to. So he should be should be okay and he should get away with that. Moving into the striker, and this is a this is a gamble. Um, Abdullahi. Now, Abdullahi? Abdullahi? Um... It's a gamble because I don't know whether he's going to be a gold or whether he's going to be a silver. He plays for Union Berlin, and he was a silver in FIFA 19. They've been promoted. He was borderline gold anyway, so I've just nudged him into that sort of 75. This is going to be an... Ex if this card is even remotely as as good as what I've shown it to be there, and I have not upgraded his stats too much, and I know the shooting is a little low for a striker, but if the card is anywhere near that good... It will be so, so overpowered early doors and so cheap as well. That's the team as it looks. Uh, you've got, I mean, you've got options at right back. You don't have to go with Akimi. You've got options at left back. You know, I mentioned Halstenberg already. I think Plattenhart. Is Plattenhart a winger or a left back these days? Either way, there are plenty of options for your left back. Centre-back wise, those two should be relatively cheap and the stats are pretty much about where they, where I would expect them to be. Like I said, the Dortmund centre-backs are going to be, um, they're going to be overused and a lot of people, you know, Upper Mencano and all those, they're going to be overused. People are going to go straight to them because that's what happened in FIFA 19. People discovered them and then they went through the, the roof in terms of price. So... You're going to have to think outside the box. You can't do what you did last year because everyone's going to copy the same thing. The midfield is relatively solid. It's it's well-rounded. Harrit looks very good going forward, not necessarily in front of goal, but in terms of his passing and his dribbling in particular. And he's quite pacey as well. The one thing that I've noticed that the Bundesliga lacks, unless you start going up into the Jaden Sancho's of this world, it doesn't. there's not an awful lot of pace in the league. You know, you could go for Bellarabi or something, but Mbabu is a pace option at right back, and this is a, an option you could take up instead of going for Hakim, of course. He's now playing for Wolfsburg, hasn't actually played, I, th I don't think, any football this season. He definitely hasn't started a game for Wolfsburg this year, so I wouldn't be surprised if he was sort of in and around the same rating as he was in FIFA 19. It's still a very nice option if you do need to change out that right back. Uh, another midfield option is Lima. Now, I've got absolutely no idea how uh, this card will look in FIFA uh, 20. Yeah, I think he was a right back in FIFA 19, but he's playing central for Leipzig. He played central um, yesterday, in fact, for Austria. And again, going back to my index knowledge, uh, that's why he's in there, because I actually had him on the index and, and managed to so I'd make quite a lot of money off him, actually. Uh, but um, I think he's a very good player. Again, another one of those really well-rounded cards. Speaking of um, cards from the index, this guy, by the way, <laughs> this guy you got to watch out for. Now, he's a silver, so you might not want to pick him up, and that's fine. What I mean by watch out for, I mean wait till January. And I know I'm, I'm saying this now. The game's not even out, and I'm telling you to wait till January. Keep an eye on Vargas for Augsburg. This kid is very very good in real life and I would imagine it's only a matter of time before he either gets a few informs and they bump him into a gold or he maybe even starts as a gold or he gets a January upgrade. Mario Goetz is always a solid choice at the start of the game I'm not sure what they'll do with his rating he's a very good player and on paper I actually think he'll have a good season for Dortmund the problem he's going to have is trying to get into the team in the first place so with that uh, he may even be an 80-81 rated. I don't know. He's still only like 26, though. Mario Goetz has been around since I was a, a baby, and I'm 32. Uh, Mbolo. 
He's now moved to Borussia Mönchengladbach and he doesn't look that great, I won't lie to you. It's really frustrating as well because if you see this guy play in real life, he's got more pace than that. He's got a lot of physical attributes going for him. His finishing is very hit or miss, sure. But I just feel like if I was in charge of making this card from scratch, the, the dribbling, the shooting, the passing, fine. I'd all keep it the same. But his pace, you know, maybe 82, 83. And his physical would be 85 because he is a very... He's, he's built, you know, he's a very strong built character um that's gonna do it for today's video though that is the fifa 20 bundesliga starter team yeah there are a few players in there that may be a little bit above the i would say starter team grade and there are a few other players in there that are definitely curveballs but that's what i like to do i'm trying to implement real world knowledge into what cards may actually be good at the start of the game and and what cards that you aren't thinking of right now because you don't know they exist like the vargas or the lima and things like that but um hopefully you guys have enjoyed if you have done hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you're new, and until the next time goodbye Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.